Alright, let's check out Kubo protocol. So one of my subscribers yesterday asked me to cover this token. So, you know, I'll give it a look over. So first of all, just quickly from a charting perspective, this chart looks really nice. Um, I will come into the chart in a minute. So, you know, do just bear in mind the chart looks very good. So from an investing perspective, I don't even need to draw a fib or a trend line. The chart looks pretty good and it's a fairly new token. So I would just say if you are investing in this, be careful. Uh, if I do talk about, you know, what this is, there are a few red flags that I've noticed. Number one, there's no, there's basically no volume on this uh, token whatsoever. Uh, bear in mind, this is, you know, fairly new. This only came out from what I can see, you know, a month ago. So I'll give it the benefit, benefit of the doubt on that. Uh, second red flag is there's no reported market cap. Uh, the fully diluted market cap is 47 million. Uh, third red flag is there is no max supply that has been uh, put on any of these websites. And also if we do just read their white paper, if you go onto Kubo protocol, you can read their white paper. Uh, they're kind of like strong nodes. So it's just one of these nodes uh, that owns its liquidity and apparently adjusts its supply in order to maintain a stable yield forever. Uh, in my opinion, that sounds like hopium, so I'm going to stay a million miles away from this. Uh, apparently, Kubo also maintains and grows a treasury to give the token a real floor value. Now, in my opinion, that sounds like a Ponzi scheme. I could be completely wrong, but, you know, everything that I've looked at this, it just... Uh, number one, I'm not the biggest fan of staking nodes, uh, especially nodes that don't provide any value whatsoever. So from what I can tell... Um, this really doesn't do anything or there's there's not really much point in holding it also uh it states that you will get a stable return if you have one of their nodes effectively between you know 0.2 percent and one percent a day so obviously if they're going to be giving you one percent a day you've got to question how much are they going to be inflating a day so it's going to be more than one percent obviously um Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to give you 1%. And if they're giving you quote unquote 1% worth of this token a day, and they're giving you that uh, in correlation to a certain amount of Kubo that represents a certain amount of their DAO treasury, it, it just seems fishy to me. It seems like a Ponzi scheme where the people who get in early are probably going to be laughing and the people who get in a little bit too late are probably going to feel the pain because I've seen a million different uh, nodes like this, like Strong, for example, and eventually they all go to zero or they all crash and burn because uh, people will find the next node, they'll find the next node as 100% per day or something bullshit like that. So, I mean, like I said, I could be wrong. I've just done a bit of basic uh, research on it, but the white paper doesn't seem too promising. It does seem like a little bit of hopium uh, under the What's Kubo section, but that is just my opinion. And obviously there is quite a lot of red flags when you do look at, you know, the fact that there's no market cap, uh, there's not really any volume coming in, there's no max supply that they have set. So, you know, I would just be worried about betting the whole farm on this. Now, coming back to a charting perspective, like I said, completely ignoring all the red flags that we've got, if we just focus on this from a charting perspective, uh, bear in mind, uh, or, or give me a little bit of uh, grace on this one because this, uh, what's it called, this gecko terminal is the most difficult thing to trade on. I can't zoom up or down, I can barely, I can't zoom in on, or flatten the data on the side, I can only zoom in or out. And I can't save any of these. Uh, the the brush tool doesn't work at all. So, I mean, this 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 is uh, probably one of the hardest websites that I've uh, tried to chart on before. So it wasn't on Trading View. It wasn't on any, you know, top uh, trading websites where you can chart things. So. Uh, just give me a little bit of leeway on this. So uh, all in all, I mean, the chart does look good. Um, if the fully diluted market cap is correct and it is only 50 million, you know, I could see worse coins to, you know, YOLO like a small percent of your funds into. Like I said, from a unbiased perspective, because I don't hold this token and I don't plan on holding this token at all, it, it just, it the, the white paper doesn't look good and there are quite a few red flags, but... It, you know, you don't always have to have a good project to make money. Like, for example, like XRP and all these shit dog coins, they'll make you money even though that they have no value and they don't do anything. This could be one of those things where, you know, you could get in quite early, 
you know, somewhere around now, you could make a good return and exit, because I can't imagine the people who, you know, started making nodes over here at, at $4 are going to be holding on for forever. If they do get mad returns, I could be completely wrong. This could go to the moon. And like I said, from a charting perspective, we are very much in a nice uptrend. So fr from a charting perspective, you can definitely make money on this in the short term. If I was to buy this token, which I'm not, I would be looking for a short-term gain before I probably do move on to the next coin or token that's hyped. But yeah, like I said, from a charting perspective, this does look uh, like a half, half decent trade at least. So if I was personally going to trade this, I would like to see a bounce from this trend line or a bounce, you know, from the previous all-time high that we put in on the 12th of February at $21. Like I said, you know, I don't give financial advice on this, uh, on this channel. And, you know, in my own, uh, in my own trading plan, I would not incorporate this coin or token to, uh, you know, to anything like I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it necessarily. There's not really much volume at all. And from what volume I can see, it is all very, very small, uh, very very small buyers so I mean it doesn't seem like there's too many whales in this you know most of these uh, transactions are like you know uh, one or or less less than 30 at least so there's not really many whales in this so like I said if you did buy now you might be getting in early for a nice rally uh, personally, I won't be entering this token or this coin ever or anytime soon. If I did, you know, I would at least like to see what's going on with the market cap, the total supply. But like I said, the white paper does seem like a lot of hopium. Do take that with a grain of salt, though, because I, I'm not the biggest fan of staking nodes. Uh, I, I never really have uh, been into staking nodes. The only thing I'm really into staking is things like uh, Solana, where your where your stake actually means something to the ecosystem. So, for example, if you're staking on Solana, you're providing votes to a validator, and those validator votes basically shape the way that the ecosystem is run. This just seems like I'll stake with us or put, buy a node with us, and we'll give you one percent of this imaginary token every day. And you know, for me, that just it doesn't really cut it. So. That is my unbiased perspective on this token. Like I said, I won't be entering it, but the chart does look very nice. So uh, all in all, as long as we stay above 21 in the short term, you know, we will probably be continuing this uptrend. Worst case scenario, a back test of the 618 down here is really like the last line in the sand that I'd say this coin needs to keep for momentum. Uh, because, you know, obviously if we do retest the 618, um, and keep on pumping then fair enough but i think this is one of those new tokens where it pumps and it pumps and it pumps until it dumps and then you know it's kind of kind of over with people forget about it and people move on to the next node so uh that is my opinion on kubo once again none of this is financial advice this is just my opinion on the market and none of this and yeah always got to do what's best for you peace